their God. They shall be strong and then do exploit. God has confidence in you. Say, this year is my opportunity to break my own record in the name of Jesus. Your story will change this year. Those that didn't know you before because of the exploit you are doing in God, they will know you. Your best days in life are not behind you. Your best days are today and tomorrow and your future. Shout hallelujah. Break record in prayer. Break record in your home. Break record in business. Break record in your ministry and break record in your community. In the name of Jesus. This year, do not let the failure of last year overwhelm you. I say you will testify in the name of Jesus. You will be the sought after because you are a solution giver. You will be the answer giver in the name of Jesus. No man shall harm you this year. As long as you are in God. In the name of Jesus. In a male-dominated, male-centered, and male-oriented society, it was believed that the proper place of the woman is behind the shadows of the man on one hand and the kitchen on the other hand. The United Nations on its part argued that as long as women, particularly in Africa, are continually relegated to the background, development will continue to be a mirage. Today, a long existing history of cultural burial, deprivation, dominance, prejudice, exclusion have given way to inclusion. Gone were the days when women handicapped by their biological requirement of childbearing and domestic roles were made to take the back seats. They have broken the chains, standing side by side their male counterparts, equipped with skills, determined, focused, industrious, beautifully endowed and empowered by God to stir the wind of change in their countries, communities, cities, towns and villages. Amongst these women, we are Mother Teresa of Kakuta, Mary Sleso, Rosa Park, Helen Keller, and in Africa, Benin City, Nigeria, is Dr. Margaret Benson Idahosa, to mention but a few. Born naked in 1943, but not empty, this iconic thrillblazer of royal lineage had the mantle of leadership thrust on her after the exit of Archbishop B.A. Idahosa, her husband of blessed memory. Like Elisha, she understood the value of the vision of the man of God. She knew it was time to take a bold step. It was time to step into the big shoes left behind by her husband. It was time to arise and stay the sheep of hope. It is with joy tonight that we have robed this our sister. And you've noticed that I called her up to this point, Margaret Idahosa, though she's already been in Nigeria, installed as a bishop. From this moment on, however, not only in Nigeria, but around the world, wherever she ministers, she will be known as Bishop Margaret Idahosa. Let's thank God for the bishop that stands before us tonight. And together we present to you your crozier, your staff, your seal and sign of authority. Hold your hands right there. When you look back in retrospect at the great expansion in the ministry, you would agree with me that God never makes mistakes. He always does qualifies the called, male or female. All that is required of you is dare to believe and dare to be out of order to reach him, and he will break every protocol for your sake. Today, the various arms of the ministry 
have undergone massive restructuring from the global headquarters, educational institutions, hospital, Bible school, and several other arms of the ministry. Several branch churches of the ministry are also not left out of this restructuring movement, as many of these branches, particularly in some remote places in Nigeria, now wear modern outlooks. Dr. Margaret Benson Dahosa has also made history when in her bid to ensure that Benson Dahosa University moves to its permanent site at Oka, donated the Faculty of Agriculture and Agricultural Technology Building to the institution. This great stride, however, attracted other donors, such as Pastor Chris Uyakilome, who donated 1 billion naira towards the construction of the Faculty of Engineering, and Bishop Matthew Opeolo, who donated one kilometer dual carriageway to the institution. Other donors include the Edo State Government, as well as other private partners. Benson Idahose University, under her leadership as Chancellor, has continued to produce world-class professionals at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels. Men and women who are making great impact in their various sphere. The World of Faith Group of Schools now has well over 110 schools nationwide, while the All Nations for Christ Bible Institute International enjoys its newest state-of-the-art facility at the Balm of Guinea City. Dr. Margaret Benson Dahosa has also gone a step further in keeping with the church theme and power to succeed to ensure that all CJMI pastors and staff members of the ministry are trained and retrained through the introduction of an intensive vocational Bible school situated at the global headquarters, Faith Arena. This vocational Bible school, which is now interdenominational, has continued to roll out graduates twice every year. The Christian Women Fellowship International, QIFI, has continually witnessed an overwhelming attendance of women from all walks of life every year. What began as a master's seed is today an interdenominational gathering of women from all walks of life. The youth aspect of the ministry, CFI, the oil which drives the wheel, has remained closely knit in our heart. They come together every year to serve from the Lord's table. May you become a nation that will speak your word, the word of God, and may they hear you. I say, may they hear you in the name of Jesus. No man, no woman will stop you. May you be at the edge of your career. May you take an advantage in the name of Jesus. What can I say? The CJMI men are not left out of this. For the first time ever, CJMI men, Church of God Mission International men, made history converging at the Balm of Gilead City for a week-long men's convention. And the children, our heart goes for these little angels. Watch these prophetic prayers by the Archbishop. These children will never be influenced. They will not be influenced outside. They will not be influenced in their schools. They will not be influenced on drugs. And no one, no, none of their friends will influence them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The elderly are also not left out as she declares longevity on them all. Like the eagle, Dr. Margaret Benson Idahosa has continued to break new grounds in spite of her graceful age. Oh, this man was in the car. He could not come out of this meeting. But now he was carried to meet the Archbishop. As led us on him right now, he can walk by himself. That's his wife. That's his daughter. Okay, we're coming to sleep. Give Jesus a shout. He took, he carried, Away, Leko boko satata, briga gaga bodondere She started experiencing severe weakness, and she couldn't stand. But when she came out here, while you were praying, she is healed. 
She is strengthened and now she can stand and jump. Come on, jump and give God praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Age, they say, is nothing but a number. This iconic leader of all times, mentor, role model, and evangelistic bulldozer, short doesn't look 75. While I might be tempted to peek into the secret of her good looks, dexterity, poise, courage, and strength in ministry, I leave that to you to guess. Happy birthday, Mama.